Hi, uh, my name is Shell. I'm one of the textile techs, and I'll be showing you how to use this womb sew industrial sewing machine. As this is an industrial sewing machine, it runs very quickly, um, and I'm going to show you how to thread the bob, thread the bobbin, uh, thread the machine, um, and also how to use this safely. So um, let's start with winding the bobbin. Uh, right now it is in the machine, but I'll show you how to take it out. Um, this is something I do by feel. So you put your hand underneath and you can feel like this wheel and there's a little clip that you can undo and take it out. That's it, that's where it is. But um, if you are less familiar with it by feel, you can open up this tab and see the bobbin inside and guide your finger to where it needs to go. Um, but this is the correct bobbin for this bobbin case and we currently um, only have one of them and do not try to use a different bobbin for it because it, it will not work. Um, okay. Now I will show you how to wind it on the machine. So um, we want to place this over here and clip it in. Um, and then we want to guide a thread into the wheel case in the back and then into the actual bobbin. So we want to thread the thread through this tensioner from back to front and pull it through. Now we're going to take this thread underneath the wire and through one of the holes. There we go. Now I'm going to place it back onto the, okay. So uh, I've done everything with the machine off so far because I want to be safe, but just to, but now you can turn it on, turn the power on by the plug, and then you turn the power on by the machine. The next step is to push this forward to make sure that when we press on the foot of the sewing machine, this also moves. If you lift the foot when you are winding the bobbin, the noise will be a lot less. So that's something I usually do. You are going to have your foot on the machine very lightly and then have your finger under the thread. And this will guide the thread onto the bobbin. And you can cut it off and move the thread over here. Uh, now I will show you how to thread the machine. Thread in here. And then I'm gonna go from under to up. Under to up. Maybe. There we go. And then through the tensioner. And then go from up to down in this hole. And then again, under, up, under, up, skipping the middle hole. Now we're gonna come through this tensioner and go above the clip, go under this hook, and go inside this other hook. Now we're going to put this through this hole here. Come out the other side through another hook through this and then through this hole that is above the needle. And now I'm going to thread the needle left to right. There we go. Okay, so now we have 
uh, the upper thread threaded. And I'm going to take the bobbin, I'm going to put it inside the bobbin case and put it into the machine. You're going to hear a click. And make sure that the thread from the bobbin um, is above the table. And I did so by winding the machine forward through this wheel. So now we have the thread through and we should be ready to sew. But before we sew, we want to just check our stitch length and the tension. So for stitch length, um, I find that between two or three is a good um, length. And for the tension, it really depends on the thickness of your fabric. Um, right now, I just have some plain, lightweight scrap fabric. And um, to demonstrate, I'm going to first sew two layers together and then four layers together. I'm going to lift the foot by using my body and pushing this um, fabric underneath. Now I'm going to put my feet on the treadle very gently um, and turning the wheel forward such that the needle is inside the fabric. Now I'm going to press very gently and you can see it stitching. Now I'm going to use the reverse stitch. So here's the front and here is the back and the tension looks fine um, although it could be tighter so I might tighten it. Uh, I went two clicks to the left but I'm actually I only need one so let's try that again. Um, this machine is very sensitive so try to go one click at a time. Let's try that again. So the difference isn't significant on the front side, but you can feel that there's like a little bit of bunching. So that feels like it's the tension may be too high. So maybe I would decrease it. And on the back, um, you can see very clear stitches. Um, let's now try four layers of fabric. Um, and I am hypothesizing that we're going to need to reduce the tension. So I'm going to reduce it. Um, put the needle in and start. Reverse and then go forward. So, right now, I'm not holding the fabric down, um, but if I were to, I will try to use something that is not my finger because this machine can go very fast, like I'm going to demonstrate right now. That's a little bit scary. Um, so Let's see how the stitches were. I mean, it looks good. 